This video will go over the basics of creating customer accounts on OpenAnswer. I'm going to go over the login process as well as basic navigation for the account. To access your landing page, you'll click Launch OpenAnswer. Once here, you'll log in using your username as well as your password and the station ID. The station ID is going to be the SIP extension that the particular workstation has been assigned. By clicking Let's Go, you will now be logged in. Once logged in, you'll be brought to your welcome screen. Your welcome screen will show daily and weekly statistics for messages and calls as well as breaks and mistakes. You can track daily and monthly trends as well as seeing any recent calls that have been placed under this login. Your main navigation toolbar is on the left hand side of the screen. By hovering over the icons, you'll see that it expands and you can see what each icon means. If you would like to keep your navigation toolbar from collapsing, click the thumbtack in the top right hand corner and it will no longer collapse when you move away. Your logout button is also located on your toolbar. To add a new billing account, you will click on the account section and then add new account at the top of the screen. This is where you input all of your customer's billing information that will not be seen by the operator once you've set up the account and you've clicked on the operator screen. Your account name and account number are the company name and whatever account number has been assigned to this account. Once you've entered all of the billing information, you'll click Save in the top right hand corner. The info box pops up stating that the account's been added, and by clicking OK, you can now proceed to your sub account. Each billing account can have multiple sub accounts. The sub accounts were where you will configure all information that the operator will need to handle the calls. Each sub account can be configured independently with its own agent scripts and delivery methods. By clicking Add Sub Account at the bottom of the screen, you will then be taken to the section where you can add a new sub account. The phone number is the number that will pop this particular sub account. Your time zone will reflect your client's time zone. And you can set the account to taking calls or not taking calls. If it is set to no, even if the number is dialed, this screen will not pop. Your company name is pre-filled from your billing information. However, you can change this at any time. Your answer phrase will be how your agent greets your caller. You can select from a predefined dropdown, or if you need something more custom, you can type in the answer phrase that you need. The answer phrase color is the background color of the answer phrase. We have this in place as a visual cue to all agents to see how difficult a call could be. While blue accounts may mean that the calls will be easier, green accounts may mean that more complex call handling. Q difficulty is another way to classify a particular sub account. In our system, the Smart Routes module that we installed on FreePBX determines the Q routing based on this setting. Your contact name, contact phone number, and contact email are for administrative purposes only. It is auto-filled from your billing information, however, it will not show to the operators on the operator screen. You can also select whether an agent is reflected as a receptionist or an answering service. This will show on the operator screen and show the agent how they should handle the call. You also have message delivery options for both text and email messages. For clients who like shorter text messages, excluding the prompt titles from your message that's sent out. For clients who prefer short text messages, the prompt titles can be excluded from the text message by selecting this field and clicking yes. You can include message IDs in messages as well as change the email format from HTML to text. If the message format is set to HTML, both text and HTML messages will go out. You can also customize the email subject line of a message delivered by email. If you leave it blank, the default formatting will take place. However, you can also customize it by using percent %A for account number, percent %M for message ID, percent %N for company name, percent %C for call type, and percent %D for caller ID. An example would be if you put message template, message from,
For example, by adding message from percent D, when the customer receives their message, the message line would read message from 111-222-333, where 111-222-333 is the caller ID of the caller. Your operator screen information is the information that you can make available to your operator that is taking the call. It will auto-populate from the billing information. However, if the street address is different from the billing address, you can change this as well. You can make this information visible or invisible to the operator by checking or unchecking the box next to each prompt. Your email, main phone, main fax, alternate phone, website, and hours of operation can be visible or invisible simply by checking the box next to each prompt. Once you've set up all the information you would like for your operator to see, you will click Save and your sub-account has been added.